What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? PXCam here, back again with a brand new video. We are here at Dragon Trail Seaside as we are here for a brand new week of daily races. You already know the drill in our EMEA account, disguised as a British. Luckily, nobody knows that we are actually from uh, the United States. But we're going to see what we can do here as we are starting in ninth place for our very first race as we get a qualifying time of a 138.3. I think I get a little bit better. But we'll have to see if we can get that better throughout the week as we are now facing against the chicane of death. We already have about 12 deaths as it is already throughout the week. So, um, moment of silence for them before we jump into the race. Anyways, before we jump into it, if you guys really enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video as it really helps out the channel when you guys do so. Anyways, that is enough promoting myself. Let's go die today. Okay, so getting our 3, 2, 1, and away we go as we are starting right behind the Dutchman. Starting in ninth place once again, we are going down the street as we're going to fast forward right over to the uh, very first chicane. Staying right behind the Dutchman, we break as late as we can as we take a nice little dive onto the inside. Try to send it like Daniel Ricardo, but unfortunately we look more like Maldonado as we lose a lot of position, make contact with the car right behind. Trying to keep it onto the outside as we're heading to this fast right hand of the Spaniards, able to get around us on the inside. And we now have to defend our position from the two Spaniards right behind him as he brings his brothers along. And we have a gang of Spaniards all around us here. But two can play that game as we are trying to get around ninth place going into the S's. He decides to defend his position really well. We just have to follow along here as this is kind of like a single files part of the racetrack. So coming out of the exit, we get a really great run coming out of the S's. And we now take a little peek onto the inside, but the Spaniard takes a nice little block there. Fair move. We have to let go of the throttle, back out, and shift it all the way to the outside as we now come out of this little wonky right-hander. Very, very tricky that right-hander is. You have to get onto the throttle very carefully. If not, you can easily spin yourself out. But I found myself do that many of times as we head into a death chicane for the first time. Coming out of the chicane of death, you see it already claimed the life of the Portuguese, so RIP to him. And we are able to now retake ninth place away from the uh, Portuguese that died. So going up into lap number two, we are stayed right behind the Greek men in the Jaguar. And uh, we're trying to take a little peek onto the inside. Too optimistic of a move going into the right-hander. That one, if you clip that um, rumble strip to the inside, you can easily lose out. But you can see we make a nice little overtake onto the inside. But the Jag decides to take a little cutback. Goes onto the inside of us. We force our way right in front of him. Luckily, we were far enough ahead to avoid making contact with the Jag. And uh, we did not end up spinning ourselves out here. So we are able to promote ourselves into 8th place. And again, we are setting our sights now on the Spaniard as we have to make up uh, almost a 1 second gap away from the 7th place driver. Now, can we do that here as we have about 2 laps left in the race? So nothing really happened the rest of lap number 2 or lap number 3. So I decided to save you guys the boredom and we'll work our way now into lap number three at the end. So coming out of the final corner, you can see there's a little bit of being and banging right ahead of us, and that's going to be beneficial towards us. All that beating and banging and racing allowed us to catch us up, but not only us, the Spaniard as well. So it's now a four-car race for seventh place, uh, but we are also catching up to that blue car right ahead. I think it's a Toyota. So it might turn into a five-car race for the fifth place, or for the fourth place, actually, as uh, we now go into the first chicane. So coming out of the first chicane, we make a move on to the inside we are now going three wide get very loose off of that corner we are going three wide into this right hander it's not going to work out so we're going to have to back out we back out but still there's a car on the outside which was a spaniard and the dutchman just slices in between both of us and he is able to get the sixth place away from us so with all that fighting all that beating and banging we lose the contact with fifth and fourth place so now this is going to be a four car race for six places we have the jag right behind us um, going into the s's and into the S's, we had to break very early as we almost made contact with the back of the Spaniard and avoid making contact there. Don't want to get our SR down, don't want to get a penalty. That would be really crucial to us if we don't. But you can see right here the Spaniard is fighting with the Dutchman. He actually misses his breaking point, makes contact with the Dutchman. The Jag misses his breaking point. Everybody misses their breaking point handing to the right-hander. And we get a little bit loose now as we get re-overtaken by the Portuguese that died earlier. 
jumping on board now with the Portuguese. You can see we go into the right-hander, and the Supra just yeets out the other Supra. And the Jack just misses the breaking point completely as he was just watching free entertainment ahead of him. And we get demoted back into 8th place now as the Portuguese was able to get around us. Heading to the final time through Chicane of Death, we're pushing very hard as we make contact with the wall. Somebody makes contact with the rear end of us, and we get launched out of that exit as we are able to not really lose any positions there as we get around the McLaren. We are now promoted into 7th place, but race is still not over. The Spaniard does have a 3 second penalty, so we have to stay within the 3 second gap of him, but we get a really bad exit. The McLaren now is trying to make a move onto the inside. Final time down the straight. Drag race to the line. Who's going to get the 6th place? And it is us as we are able to outpace the McLaren, get the 6th place, and overtake the Spaniard because of the penalty. Let's jump into the second one. Jumping to our second race now, we are starting in 6th place for this race, so um, we have a 138.2 as we are racing against some a rank drivers, b rank drivers, and s rank drivers. What can we do here now as we are now getting our 3-2-1 and crossing the start finish line? So, down the straight once again for the first time, staying in the slipstream of the Frenchman right ahead of us, we decide to uh, just take it very carefully, but right behind us we have an Aston Martin catching up very quickly, and it's the Spaniards, he's trying to make a move onto the outside. We defend our position as there's a Spaniard ahead, or a German actually, that gets knocked off into the inside, goes into a gravel trap, and we get an easy fifth place now as we are capitalizing on other people's mistakes here as we're heading to the right-hander. Jumping into the hairpin, staying as close to the inside as we can to defend our position. We're able to do it here, and uh, luckily we're able to catch up to the fourth place driver and the third place driver. As we now jump into the end of lap number one, nothing really happened there. Nobody got claimed by the chicane of death so we had to uh, stay right behind Elvis so Elvis is in the building for this race as we are staying right behind him on the slipstream can we overtake the king as we head into uh, the first chicane here but unfortunately we're just a little too far back as uh, Elvis is trying to make a move onto the inside of the Frenchman going side by side he actually backs out of the move there but it costs him a lot of time we get a great exit here but just clip the curb ever so slightly upsets the car and we now have to settle back in fifth place as we have uh, basically the pace to keep up with the fourth and third place drivers. So we can be fighting here for a podium. But with all the fighting, you can see right behind us that there's a Huracan and his friends all catching up to us. So um, we just have to be patient, be careful with the moves that we do. And uh, hopefully we can make the overtake quick and easy. So going on to the inside of Elvis here, king of rock and roll. Decides to pinch us down just a little bit. And we have to let him go through. Fair move. So we just have to follow him right into the chicane of death as uh, you don't want to go double wide into the chicane of death. All you're doing is basically spelling out your will right there when you do that. But we go through it very cleanly, but the Frenchman makes contact with the wall. He takes it life right there. We're able to get around him there as we are adding insult to his injury. Get back the fourth place. And now we set our sights on Elvis. Can we make the third place position move and get a podium here for the final race around Dragon Trail? So. Off the final corner, we're staying on the slipstream of the Elvis men right ahead of us as uh, we're going down the straight for the third time. Two laps to go now on the race. Can we make the overtake as he is keeping it on the outside? We decide to just stay right behind him. We're too far back for an overtake. And uh, we're just going to stay right behind him, use him as a pick, and hopefully we can get away from the fourth place driver so that when we do start racing, uh, we can stay with him and not really have anybody invited to the party now as we're taking a move onto the inside on the final corner We get a really great run down the straight taking a move onto the inside He decides to give us the spot very easily We are able to get around the Aston Martin, but he does make a cutback It's a great exit and he has better pace than us now as we're heading down the straight leading us into the final lap on the final lap now Elvis and others are doing a drag race not many times you can say that in, uh, in your lifetime but we are on the inside of Elvis as we're heading onto the first chicane, staying onto the inside. We're able to re-overtake Elvis and get that podium position as we now come out of the first chicane. Getting a little bit loose, so does Elvis. And the Frenchman is able to retake fourth place away from him now as uh, we are coming into the middle part of the final lap. Seeing right ahead of us, you see first and second place are actually not that far away from us. So they are within striking distance if we can get close enough. But we just need to fight a little bit more. Unfortunately, we have the Porsche right ahead of, uh, right behind us, and that's going to bring us some trouble here. So 
we have to keep an eye on the guys ahead but also keep an eye on our mirror make sure that Porsche is not doing anything fancy and tricky and trying to make an overtake on us as we get a horrible exit off of the S's defending our position here the Porsche gives us a bump on the inside as we try to cover the inside and uh, we break as late as we can but so does the Porsche side by side we kind of pinch him out a little bit wide sneak up right ahead of him he's on the inside of us he's gonna try to make move on to the chicane of death he thinks twice knows that two cars is not gonna work there so we are able to hold him off right here as we come into the final part of chicane of death unfortunately nobody from the front gets taken out and we are looking to be settling here for third place as long as we can hold off the Frenchman for just one final corner coming to the final corner we defend it onto the inside and that's going to give us a great entrance but a horrible exit but fortunately the Porsche gets a bad exit as well and we're going to take an easy cruise down to the start finish line get a third place and get our podium for the day so awesome racing around here at Dragon Trails we didn't get consumed by the chicane of death at least not yet I'm expecting it to happen at least one time this week but uh, luckily we've been able to avoid it we've seen other people get killed by the chicane of death as it's taken about 29 victims this week so uh, moment of silence for all those guys RIP and uh, we were able to come out with a podium so hope you guys really enjoyed that one I'm assuming you guys did if you guys made it all the way to this part of the video if you guys did please feel free to leave a thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel and if you guys found this video entertaining I hope to see you guys on the next one peace out